When I first got started, I was 100% the day-to-day -day operations. Everything from bottling the kombucha all the way to the financial books, but that's changed. Right from the beginning of my business, I was my business. So often as women entrepreneurs, it's like, oh, I don't do the money thing. It's really important to know what's happening with your finances, A, right from the beginning, but also along the way. The beautiful thing about being in control is that you will ensure you hit your goal. But the problem is you won't grow. There will be a plateau you hit and you have to make the decision at some point to grow and to do that, you have to begin to give it away. I think you kind of have to like let go before you think you're ready and you have to let go before you think your team is ready. It's that gap where people grow. I was so involved with the day-to-day -day operations that I decided that I was gonna be the person that drove a 28-foot refrigerated box truck up to San Francisco filled with product, I flipped the truck. I had to leave work for about three weeks. It forced me and it forced my people to step up. In that time, I realized how well they can do it, and even in some ways better than me. You know, I think there's a difference between knowing what's happening and being in the weeds. Knowing the big picture of what's happening, but empowering the people who work with you to say, go ahead and make the decision. As success started to hit, I think what feeling comes up most, this feeling of loneliness, solitude, and doubt. It's the moment where nobody else really thinks what you're doing is a good idea, but you inside know, and you go for it anyway. To me, business is an evolution. It's cyclical, it's non-linear. So often, things turn out differently than we thought and way better than we thought, and that's what's so exciting about the journey.